I could tell from this question, suggest two strengths and two weaknesses of using the correlation, that you did not revise for it because strengths and weaknesses of correlation are AS knowledge and they are easy and you should have known what they are. Um, strengths include being able to show a relationship especially on a scatter graph. So it's very, very easy to see visually on a scatter graph if there's a relationship between two variables. So in this case, maths and physics scores. It justifies kind of further research. So it's a good starting point for research. You can see this relationship first, and then if there is, you can then in, you know, invest in doing an experiment. There's no point in an experiment if there isn't anything there because it's a waste of time and money. So that will be your first point. Another strength is if it's impractical or unethical to manipulate. So, for example, you can't really manipulate the maths and physics GCSE scores. They are naturally occurring things. You you can't really, you know, it's probably impractical. You can't really recruit lots of people and get them to sit maths and physics scores and then correlate them. It's easier just to use already things that are in existence. So, in this case, it would be those GCSE scores. So, that's easier to do. Um, a weakness of it would be that you can't establish causality. You don't know whether math is affecting physics or physics is affecting maths. So that's one thing. The second thing is that it's only dealing with quantitative data because it's being plotted on that correlation, that scatter graph. It doesn't find out the reasons why, so there's no qualitative descriptions of why those scores are being affected. You know, you don't know if there's a third variable, such as the students having a private tutor. Maybe that's affected it. Or the students having um, a father who is in a physics background, and that's why they're really good at physics. And then, or even another third variable in, you know, a lot of the maths is in physics. So, you know, that's not being investigated. So those explained in detail and in context by saying GCC maths and physics would have got you the marks for those questions.